morning children i greet you all in the name of jesus i thank god for giving us another new day it is the day that he has made so that we may be glad and rejoice in it we thank god because of this opportunity to come and share the word of god with the children the bible says Jesus said that let the little children come to me and do not heed them that is why we are here so that we may speak the word of God to our children because we need our children to come to Jesus Christ he loves them so much i am also here to bring the word of God to teach the word of God the uh, to teach the children the word of God because the bible says that we teach our children in the ways to go and when they grow up they will never depart from the ways of the lord we thank god because of this uh, this moment this is royal kids service where we come and teach our children the word of god my name is teacher jennifer i am born again i love jesus so much because he loves me so much and i am welcoming everybody on board our uh, our parents the parents the guardians the caregivers who are with our children this morning how we pray that you are going to be with our children to walk with them in this service and for the children get yourself a notebook or a paper and a pen or a pencil somewhere where you are going to write what we are going to learn this morning because Jesus is going to speak his word to us this morning today's topic is about obedience and we are going to begin by asking what is obedience obedience it is doing what you are told to do by someone especially those who are older than us those who are in authority like jesus our parents our teachers our caregivers and even our elder brothers and our elder sisters those who have them and it is about doing the right thing The Bible says of a man who is called Noah. Noah was a good man. He lived in a time when everybody else did what they wanted to do. They did not obey God. They walked in their own ways. They did not follow the ways of the Lord. and God was not happy with them and God told Noah to build an ark and Noah obeyed so Noah was a man who obeyed God even when God told him to build an ark he just obeyed and the bible says in genesis 6 verse 8 but Noah found favor in the eyes of God. Why did he find favor in the eyes of God? Because he he was obedient to God. He only did what was pleasing God. He did not walk in his own ways. Even us as children, if you want to have favor with God, if you want us to have favor with men, if you want our parents, our teachers, our guardians and other people to love us we should be obedient children we do what we are told to do the bible says again in genesis chapter 6 verse 22 the same chapter noah did all that god commanded him to do and remember all this time everybody else did what they wanted they sinned against god and god was not happy with what they were doing while they they used to abuse one another they used to 
when they are told to do something, they could not do it. They did not even help Noah to build the ark. They were just there, walking in their evil ways. Children, we should be careful. If you want God to continue to love us, if you want our parents, our teachers to love us, we should then obey and do what we are told to do. God told Noah to build the ark. And we have just read what Noah did. The Bible has told us that Noah did everything that God commanded him to do. Do you do the homework when the teacher tells you to do the homework? Do you sweep the house when your parent, your mom, tells you to sweep the house? When she tells you to wipe the table after you have taken supper or breakfast in the morning? When you are told to remove the cups and the plates? Do you willingly remove the, 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 the plates and the cups when your mom tells you to do so? or you just walk away and refuse to do that, then your mother, your dad will not be happy with you. And then that means you are attracting punishment to yourself. That means your mother, your dad, your guardian, your caregiver will not be happy with you. When the teacher tells you to do the homework, do you finish the homework? during the time that you have been given to do the homework? When you are told to keep quiet in the class, do you continue making noise? If you continue making noise, then you'll be in trouble with the teachers. But if you just obey, you do your homework, you settle well in class, you listen to what the teacher is telling you, you keep quiet, you wait until you go to for break, then that is the time that you have the time to pray around with other children. All will be well with you. But if you do, do not obey your teachers, if you do not follow what they are telling you to do, then you are attracting punishment to yourself. And the teachers will not be happy with you. If you do not obey the parents by helping, helping them at home, like I have said earlier, you are told to remove the cups and the plates from the, the table and you wipe it and you do not want to do it, then the parent will be angry at you. But if you obey, you will be like Noah. God loved Noah so much until when he was coming to, fit, to, to punish those other people who were sinning against, the, against the God, he told Noah to build an ark. When the other children will be beaten at school, or the teacher will be angry with them because of making noise and maybe not finishing the homework, the teacher will be happy and they will love you because you have done the right thing at the right time, you have done your homework. So it is good to do the right thing. It is good to obey at all times. Obey them that are above you. Obey them that are in authority. Now, when Noah finished to build the ark, as God had said that he's going to punish all other people because they were sinning against him. And you remember that God hates sin because sin is evil. It is the sins that made Jesus to go and die for us at the cross. When the, everybody else was sinning, Noah built the ark and he finished it. And this ark, this is where God wanted Noah and his family to enter so that when he comes to punish the other people, Noah is not going to perish with them. He will not be punished together with, with them. 
and God also commanded him to bring along with him his family, his three sons and their wives, and also his wife and animals and birds. Every everything that God has created, those small animals like ants, like a lion, leopard, monkey, dove, all sorts of birds. God said that Noah must take a, a few, just a few, to walk with them in the ark, male and female, so that he will not finish what he has created. And when the time came for God to punish the people, because they did not turn away from their sins, they continued sinning. And God was not happy. Then Noah entered into the ark, as I've told you. He did everything that God told him to do. And then it started raining. The water was coming from the ground. The other, and the, the heavens opened, the windows of heaven opened, and it rained so heavily. And everything, it continued to rain, and it continued to rain until all, all the houses, even the, the tallest buildings, and the tallest trees, and the tallest mountains, they were all covered with the floods. They were covered with the water and everything and everybody, they perished apart from Noah and his family and the animals that was with them, that God told him to go with them into the ark. And God made sure that the ark rested upon Mount Ararat. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. I want you, child, children, just imagine raining heavily for 40 days and 40 nights. It was such a heavy rains. It was heavy rains. But, thank, but thanks be to God, Noah was safe. Why? Because he was obedient to God. Children, it is good to hear what the teachers are telling you. It is good to hear what the parents are telling you. It is for your own good. Proverbs 22 verse 6 says that we train up a child in the ways to go. And when they grow up, they will never depart from them. You know what, children? If you walk with the right children who are obedient to their parents and to their teachers. You will also be obedient to your parents and to your teachers and to those people who are around you. If you work with children who are not obedient, they do not want to do any work at home. They do not want to, to finish the homework. They do not want to do the work they have been told to do by either the parents or the teachers, or the guardians, or the caregivers, then you will be like them. But do not choose to be like them. You walk with the children who love to abuse other children. You will find yourself abusing other children. You walk with children who love to tell lies. You will find yourself telling lies. Choose your children. Choose those children who love to obey, to obey the parents, to obey the teachers, to obey the guardians, and God will love you so much. God will protect you. God will continue to do you good. There is this boy, and it is a true story. This boy, she used, he, I mean he used to be told by his mother to stay in the house, and if he wants to go and play, he should, he, he should just go outside because they have a big compound and play around there. But a time came, another boy 
who could not listen to the parents, who could not obey the parents, told this boy that was told by the mother not to leave the house. And if he leaves the house, to go and play outside. The boy came and told this other boy, let us go somewhere. And they went to a place with other bad boys. And do you know where they went? They went to a place where there was a ditch that was, that was full of dirty water. And around it, there were some grass. And one of the boys threw this boy who was told by the mother not to leave the house. And if he leaves the house to, to play outside, because they have a big compound, but God is good. When he was thrown into the muddy water, he held immediately because the, the, the ditch was not such big. He held to the grass on the sides and he was able to come out, but he was full of muddy water. He could have died if that ditch was very deep. And when he went home, full of mud, very dirty, he was wet. What do you think the mother did? Even before he was told to go and shower, to take a bath, he was beaten by the mother because the mother was very angry at him. And he told him, suppose you died in that ditch. Suppose it was so deep and you were thrown inside and there was nobody to remove you, you could have died. And I told you not to walk out. Just if you have to pray, just pray around here in the compound. So children, we should be careful who our friends are. Other friends will put you in trouble. And some of these friends will make you not to have at peace at home, at school. Teachers will not love you. They will not be happy with you. The parents and the guardians will not be happy with you. Let us listen to what we are told by the teachers and the parents. Let us obey them. And God will continue to love us. Jesus will continue to love us. Remember Jesus said in his word, let the little children come to me. If you do not go to Sunday school, it is important you be going to Sunday school, also where you can be taught the word of God. But nowadays, do you know what has happened to that boy? He doesn't get out of the house. And if he does, he just prays outside. And the mother has been very happy. The dad is very happy. His sisters and his brother, they are very happy. And her, her, his mother, when he's coming, when he goes out to do some shopping, when he comes back, he remembers to buy him yogurt because he loves yogurt so much. So when you do good, Jesus will do you good. Even your parents, they will even appreciate you because of being obedient to you. So that is the word of God this morning. Remember children, remember to obey. Remember to love Jesus, obey him. The word of God says in John chapter 14, verse 15, Jesus said, here are these children. It is Jesus who said this. If you love me, you will do what I command. Command is the same as obey. If you know you love Jesus, just obey him. Obey what he says. Just obey his word. Love him. Love other people. Obey your parents. Just love your parents. If you love them, you'll obey them. If you love the teachers, you will obey them. And God will continue to do you good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord do you good. As you continue to obey Jesus, as you, as you continue to obey your parents, and as you continue to obey your teachers and those people who are around you, 
who wants you to be that person that God wants you to be. God bless you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless your holy name. Thank you because of this opportunity you have given unto us to share the word of God with the children. How I pray, my Father, that you are going to help these children because you love them so much, Jesus. You are the one who said, let the little children come to me and no one to hinder them. Thank you because these children belong to you. They are the work of your hands. Help them to obey, to obey the teachers, to obey the parents, to obey the guardians, to obey them that are around them, so that you'll continue to love them, to have favor with them, and to, to protect them, because you are a good God. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, children.